Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Traders Terminal. This is Jordan and uh, I believe this is my first video for the year. So Happy New Year's everyone. Wishing you a fantastic and lovely year ahead. Now today we're going to check out Dollar Cut as I believe in the midterm this is one of the best opportunities presented. Um, if we're trading midterm that means we need to start with the slightly higher time frames and for me that's weekly and daily chart. Now, when it comes to weekly, the larger picture here is that we are most likely trading inside this range. We bounced from the bottom. We're respecting this zone and we're forming this fantastic push, which means in the longer term, we can expect this thing to continue higher. If I go down to daily chart, in very simple words, what I do expect to happen here is actually, let's use the line to see some kind of range being formed. Now, this could be a shrinking pattern of some sort. This could be horizontal pattern where we can draw the lines like this and we have false breaks, okay? In any case, I do expect to see a consolidation period here, all right? Yes, this is a huge consolidation zone, but uh, this is the structure that I'm focusing on. If that's the case and I'm correct in my analysis, that means we should be looking at one more push lower, at least. Now, in order to confirm this idea further, actually, let's leave those, we can go ahead and check out uh, Platform X here. And let me just refresh it. This is QE door, sorry. We need door cut. All right, and here is what we can see. Now, this is the longer term. This is the midterm and this is the short term. Since we're going to be trading the midterm, daily four hour, one hour chart, this kind of combination, we should be looking here. And what we can see here is that we are currently in a bearish mode and the software is suggesting that we might be checking for pullbacks and looking for sales. So far, so good. So this thing starts to make sense as well. Now back to the manual chart. What else we can see here? Let's see if we can make this case even stronger. Now I'm not an expert in chart patterns, but it looks like we had bullish push, right? This is where, in my opinion, we started forming a head and shoulders. And this is where this head and shoulders was broken. Now, we never retested that zone, and this is where the opportunity, in my opinion, is forming. So what we can do is look for this zone to be retested, and then we want to be looking for possible sell opportunities. Before we move any further, um, a small request to you guys, if you like this kind of setups, if you like this kind of analysis and you're a fan of the channel, please hit the like button or subscribe if you're new. And I really hope I will be able to deliver more valuable content to you. Now back to the chart. If this is the breakout zone and we can actually drop here where the uh, breakout happened, we can see that more or less overlaps. So we're starting to think about 26 up to 26, 40, 30, something like that. From the opposite direction, we can also try to figure out the trend lines. This is a trend line. Uh, in terms of the structure, I think we're looking at something like this. And I really hope we're going to, to deliver at least one more push to the upside. And then we can check out the supply demand, which is also telling us that we have a strong level around this zone. So pretty much the idea is that we won't see the price going and testing this zone. It could be slightly below, it could be slightly above. We don't know for sure what we can do in terms of actual projections, since we have the first wave or what I assume to be a first wave. We can drop here the feebles. And again, if this thing moves lower and creates another low, we need to readjust the feebles, right? But at this given specific moment, what we're looking at is the 100%, right? And this is where the 161.8 is. Even if we go to uh, 161.8, this is still below the four hour chart swing, right? 
I mean, this is not exactly a swing, but it is some kind of high. This is more of a swing to me. In any case, I think you get the point that the zone is somewhere approximately here. And the ideal situation would be to see that now to build even a stronger case, let's check out the indicators. Uh, I usually don't use too many indicators. I'm a fan of MACD, sometimes RSI. But here is what we see now. First of all, we checked platform X, which is confirming the bearish idea. Then we have manual analysis, which is confirming the sell idea. Then we have Delta pattern right here. And FX Delta is another software, which is also following trends and spotting trends, confirming it. By the way, you can definitely use Delta 100% free. Just check out how it works. I have a video revealing that. Google it and you can use it for free as well. So uh, you have the Delta pattern, no ending divergence, bearish hidden divergence supports the bearish view. So in my opinion, everything is pointing down. Question is, are we going to get this push to the upside or is it going to create some kind of move like that? Now, if we make this kind of move and then the price comes here, I'm not confident in the setup anymore. Why? Because I will probably have ending divergence. And at this point, we're probably going to get a reversal pattern and then it becomes tricky. Okay. So 99.9% .9 if we go and break this low without going and touching here, I'm probably going to skip it. Right? I just put it in the missed opportunities column and I move forward. If we, however, go up, I definitely love to uh, go ahead and use this as an opportunity. So that's that's pretty much everything uh, that they have in mind. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, of course, to leave a comment below. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.